Good afternoon and welcome to the next Project Bimmer video on my 1995 BMW E36 And in this video I'm going to be changing the front bumper In the last video I changed the front nose panel and I'd already decided to uh, to get a replacement front bump and I found this one on eBay, 30 quid, but it was in Liverpool so it wasn't that far to go, uh, I, had to, I had to go twice but you know that's all documented in the in the road trip video where I collect this bumper. So what I could do is I could, I could just fit it straight to the car but I don't, that's not really how I roll. So what I need to do is I need to strip it, clean it, and as you can tell, this was a colour coded bumper. Now according to the seller, it was it was actually for three to eight, so a bit of an upgrade and, and the top half were colour coded, so I'm gonna have to repaint that. I've got I've got all the stuff, I'll show you that in a sec. So I'll need to I'll need to strip it anyway because I need to paint the top half, so give it give it all a good clean as well, strip it, clean it, paint it, then it can go on. But before all that it's time for another sticker section. Stickers, 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 stickers section. And in this instalment of sticker section, it's a sticker from Grandpa Kevin. I don't want to show you the addresses. He's got his, he's put his address, his return address. So what I'll do, open this up. And we'll just get that off. Get this out. So I'm not revealing his, his address. And it's a walker, try not to reveal anything. Oh, there we go. And that's how it now it comes. So we'll, we'll get this. It's quite a big sticker, actually. It's nearly as big as Everyday Solar's sticker. And that's saying something. So what I'll do is I'll get the camera turned round and we'll see if we've got room for it on the uh, on the tool chest. Right, I think I should have room for it somewhere. Look, it's nearly, I told you it's nearly as big as Everyday Solar's sticker. So I'm going to have to clean this off uh, Let's have a look Use what's left of my wipes I don't have many left, I should have got some When I went out, but never mind Just just give it all a wipe down Otherwise my stick is not going to stick properly So give it a quick wipe Then a bit of the blue roll to Dry it off And then we should be good for a to get to get this sticker on, there we go. Nice, nice clean surface. So starting to run out of space for stickers. If they're all going to be this big, let's have a look. Uh, so I better decide where I'm putting. I could put it below everyday solars. Yeah, yeah. You can go beneath everyday solars, Kevin. So just peel the backing off. Get it positioned in about the right place, and then we have a. <laughs> it looks like it's, it's escape from Guantanamo Bay. There we go, Kevin. You're on my tool, tool chest lid. So, it, with that, it is back to the video. So, I went to my local Alfords. Oh, and as you can see, it's a lovely day outside, raining. Anyway. So I've got some uh, dashing trim cleaner for cleaning the bumper off, it'll just clean it all. I've got some scotch bright pads for roughing the uh, surface here. Then I've got some wet and dry paper, I'll be using that for sanding the primer down so I should get a really nice finish. Plastic primer, because the bumper's made of plastic. Some, uh, some of the right colour, BMW Montreal Blue, that's the correct colour. For, for my particular BMW and some un universal lacquer. Now I had a look on me my shelf with all my spray stuff. I've, I've actually got some uh, the heavy duty stuff. I should have bought that, but if I if I run out of lacquer, I can always use up the other one I've already got. So first thing I need to do 
is to strip this bumper down. Before I strip it, it could, I think it'd benefit from a clean. So I'm not sure I'm gonna set the camera up so you can see what I'm doing. So uh, just find somewhere to set the camera up. Got to, to put the Salika's battery on charge because it'd run, it'd run down. Uh, hopefully I've, uh, I've saved it. If it holds its charge, it should be all right. Anyway, better set, set up the camera and then we can get her get cleaning. better already the cleaner's done its job and I'm to sure agitate it have a look is that like my detail brush uh, it's not perfect but it's clean enough to work with so now I need to start stripping it down down as far as I can go I'm going to try to take the crash bar off but I'm not I'm not going to bother with that so I just clean it up a bit further and before anyone says yes I forgot to get masking tape so I'll need to mask here as well so I'll get some uh, masking tape I'll, I'll probably clean this up a bit more because uh, I noticed a lot of these uh, this, you know, this crash bar it's held on by these plastic rivets uh, 
and the number the number plate trim that's held on by a plastic rivet so i only need it to take just the one out so i just put them two back in that's holding the crash bump crash bar onto the bumper i just paint it like that and there and this is what happens when you dismantle a bumper you get all these all these bits and so, some of them i won't need but i'll see what's left whatever i've got left over i can always sell and get a few quid back so i'll come back to you when i'm uh, messed up and ready to start scotch brighting so i'll give it another another quick wipe over just get as much muck off as possible uh, i went to alfred's back to alfred's got myself a roll of masking tape but before i start masking this off i'm going to see if there's any sort of nicks and imperfections of like the uh, bit of paint there you know before i rough it up just smooth it off and and then uh and rough it up with a few nicks so see so i can uh sand some of them out and then i can start roughing it up ready for primer <laughs> So that should be suitably masked up. Obviously, this is the bit I'm painting. So if I'm careful, I've, uh, I've sanded down a few nicks here and something there. That feels a lot smoother. So should I do a half decent job? But remember, I'm not I'm not a painter, I'm not, not auto body or all like that. I'm just a DIYer. I'm working in this shed, in this cramped shed. So just doing the best I can with what I've got. my painted surface is rough, roughed up I'm just going to give it a bit of white wipe over with some white spray just to get any 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 loose stuff off and give the paint the best chance this blue rolls coming in handy so get, get some white spray on my towel just give it a good wipe down get all loose paint off it's all roughed up it's just need a key for your paint to stick to so just just get rid of all that loose dirt obviously a bit scotch brighten it's creating a bit of dust <sighs> forget a bit creative here let's get it all get it all nice and clean So just allow that to dry and then I'm ready for for a bit of paint. I did notice another another scratch so I've had to wipe I've had to give that a bit of a sanding down just to smooth it off. And I'll just wipe it over again with white spirit and then we can start painting. Right, I've had to change the camera angle, hopefully that'll be a bit better. Now because this is a plastic bumper, I have to use plastic primer. I can't use normal primer because it won't do you. It flexes, you know, it's so it'll flex. It'll give the paint something to stick to. So I hope this hand goes okay. So here goes. Uh, no, I'm sure I had a suit. 
I'm like a handle for a for an aerosol can. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? I'm sure I'll have it somewhere close to hand. Probably on one of these shelves. can't find it so we just have to carry on with our work. so just give it a light dusting don't get too heavy this may be a bit awkward Trying not to uh, touch the painted parts. Try not to get any paint on me neither. This is just. Ideally, it should be well ventilated, so I'll just. Open the shed door. <sighs> I'm starting to get a run already. Turn this, this bump around without touching what I've already painted. Okay. Well, I'm sorry if you can't see uh, what I'm doing. So that's the first coat done, and I'll leave that, I'll leave that to dry, I'll do a second coat, maybe a third, just use up as much of the prime and then I'll start sanding it down, so I won't, sh I won't, I won't film any, any more paint going on, smoke fumes, we all need to be ventilated, so let's have the shed door open, it's still raining, and I'll come back to you I'm ready to, uh, to rub down the primer. It is now the next day and as you can see the weather's a bit better. So uh, I've got myself a new number, new front number plate and uh, some adhesive pads but more of that later on. So last night I did a cleaned up all the plastic bits and used some of the auto glim bumper trim. You know the plastic trim restored and the, there you go, these parts, these are the ones that I've taken off the replacement bumper, they're all looking all looking like new. Even cleaned up cleaned up the fog lights as well. So with the weather being a bit nice I can uh, carry on with this uh, outside. So I'll get this outside and we'll carry on working it all and I'll just need to rub the primer down. Well there's not much more room out here but I mean fresh air so Put you guys on time lapse. So I'll give you a quick once over with wet and dry and uh, you know, I'm not looking for absolute perfect flawless finish, I'll never get that. Uh, but you'll know, get 
just to get rid of the runs and have a decent uh, surface for the uh, colour to go on. So I'll just give it a wipe, bit of wipe with the uh, with the wipe spirit, just to get it absolutely clean, and then we can start putting some colour on it. <laughs> Can, I think it's just about empty, so I'll buy I'll buy another can of paint. Um, uh, I got, did get some runs in, but I just uh, build up build up the layers of paint, and I'll just just rub it down. I've got plenty of wet and dry, but it should look quite uh, quite reasonable once I've done. Uh, look at the weather's dry, so just get put some more put some more colour on it. And it'll look nice when it's done. So I'll just get another get another tin from Alfred's. See, I'm still got runs from where I've sp sprayed it too thickly. I'm just a DIYer in my backyard, so don't don't judge me. Just finish off the last of this paint. There we go. It's all used up, so go back to Alfred. It's quarter to six, so they're open till eight. Uh, I'll carry on putting some more paint on. Probably do that off camera. Take this bit of trim. This is a piece I actually bought new. Uh, you know, when I first started doing the repairs. Now, I think, let's have a look. I think I got. This off the old bumper because these are, these are the bits that go between the bumper and the wheel arch and I've got two rights and just one left and obviously because uh, the left was where the damage is that's, that's been slightly damaged so I'll be able to use it best, I'll give them a clean so I'll use the best of them so I'll use that one in there the best out of these for the right uh, let's look it should go we got something it goes something like that I can't, can't remember off the top of my head, but so and I've got measure. I uh, recover, you know, sa save a few screws that are taken out. So the next thing to do is to give this this uh, paint a bit of a rub down. It's got it's got some runs in places. There's a run there and a run there, some at there and some at there, and uh, multiple runs. And that said, I'm not a painter, I'm just a DIY working in the backyard with rattle cans. So, I'll probably get you set up on time lapse and get this bumper rubbed down.
time has come to apply the lacquer so I'll put you guys on time lapse gung-ho on that one because I've got loads of runs so I'll just I'll just leave it to dry and I'll uh, come back to it another time I'll, I think that'll be it for today so see you at some point in the future it's another day later and uh, it's not looking perfect it's got runs left right and centre but I say it's better than it was so I'll strip off this uh, masking tape. Uh, hope it comes off without too much trouble. But just carefully pull off this tape. See how it's turned out. <sighs> now I'm not too worried about this because it'll be covered up by the trim. <laughs> says it's, it's never going to be perfect but it should look fine it's a car that gets used regular so the rest of the paint works uh, you know, past its prime so it shouldn't look too out of place in the, the general scheme of things anyway so what I need to do is uh, clean this and put some of that uh, that bumper trim stuff on it you know auto glim stuff on, which is this stuff <coughs> bumper and trim gel I like, like all this sort of stuff it never lasts so I'll think of a more permanent solution or something a bit more longer lasting but it'll, it'll definitely lift it so I think what I'll do is just put you on time lapse and then uh, get the rest of this tape off and then start making this look a bit better <laughs> a lot cleaner inside and out and as you may notice I managed to, I managed to get some overspray on there so I had to dig out some cellulose thinners uh, wipe off that overspray so that wasn't too bad so I'll, I'll carry on with this I'll uh, put that, that, that bumper gel on, on this and then I can, I can start putting this back on the car so I did it off camera and I've attached these two parts before the bumper goes on I'm ready to to offer it up I need to get these nuts off so just get them get them shifted just 
set you, you guys up on a tripod and we'll get this uh, do it on time lapse. So ready to off the bumper up. I've got the other trim ready to go on. I'll fit it on so the bumper secured. And I'll uh, stick you on the time lapse. Slightly embarrassing. I just fit them in loosely. Oh, that's a fog lights but it didn't work in. And next set of trim pieces, I'll start from the right and work towards the left. So I need to secure these, just push them in like, like an arrow head. So just push through one side and then the other. Pull that down, 
and then we'll pull it older. So, should all just snap in. And secured in the middle with a plastic rivet. Hope you don't have a hitting stick so I'll just have do with me. That is in, it's in the right way around. And then we look pins in the wrong the wrong way. Yep, the pointed end should yeah. If you can see on there, your pointed end, the flat end and the pointed end should go in. In there like that, so got that swapped over, just push that, push it in. Um, Knock it on. A bit of doing it, doing it this way. That's that secured. Then we can secure this piece of trip. And then this final piece of trim. And that is the bumper basically done. So last, and certainly not least, is the front number plate. So I've got some adhesive pads. I think there's enough, enough here to do two, yep. Yeah. Or maybe not, maybe I think there's enough for one. Yep. Yeah. So I'll just get, I've got one in the middle. And one at either end. Yeah, and better not get it upside down, that wouldn't be good. So I just need to uh, sort of position it in about the right spot. Again. I'm not sure that's going to look a bit peak, Tom. So I had to drill holes in my nice new number plate. I didn't want to, but yeah, the situation is what it is. So luckily I still had the old one to use as a guide. So I'll just get these screws started. Up, 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 just up a government right. So I think about it right spot. So there we go, that's the front end pretty much done, I've still got, got that to do but looking a lot better, better than I did when I started this whole thing and it's uh, fancy enough I give it a bit of a facelift. Got a colour coded bumper and the, the pretty grills. 
so I'm going to end the video here. Hope you enjoyed this one. So please remember to like, subscribe, share, ring that notification bell, and you get notified when one of the videos comes out. Questions and comments, you know where to put them. As ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there. Thank you.